This might be one of the most random and just out of nowhere like trailers, but we have a trailer for Rebirth Island. A lot of people won't like it. A lot of people don't like it. Let's take a look at it. Look at that. Look at that beautiful island. Oh, baby. Uh, we, we are about to cook. We're about to cook. What is this music? I like it. I mean... <laughs> this music is great. <laughs> yep, there's the water tower. Can I just say, these helicopters in this game are just not good. We, we need better helicopters. These things suck. Oh. Heat switch and everything? Hold on. Wait, this, wait, hold on. This is actually insane. <laughs> oh, man. It brings back memories seeing all these POIs. That's a robot skin. That's a robot skin. Please tell me we're getting a jetpack game mode. There's the inner part of prison. This trailer is the best trailer they've ever made, I think. What the fuck? What the hell is that? What is that thing? Oh, God. All right. Yo, this is insane, actually. Leave no friends behind. All right, there's a hole in prison. I saw this on Twitter. We're going to talk about that in a minute. The lighthouse is going down. Wait a minute, hold on. This is a really well done trailer for Call of Duty. This is the most creative trailer I think they've ever done. Oh yeah, the lighthouse creates a new walkway up into prison now. Okay, that was the music. I don't know why that reminded me of like of like a game like Metro Exodus for some reason because it's just such a re weirdly happy song for. Uh, a depressing time. I don't know. Uh, let's talk about the hole in prison. So, from what I'm understanding, what a lot of people seem to be speculating is Rebirth will be returning. In addition to having a couple of new buildings, swimming, and so forth, there will be destructible POIs. Meaning, the hole is not apparently permanent on, on the roof. Now, I joked about the fact that they find it necessary to put a hole literally in every map they seem to bring back they always want to put a hole in it which i don't really understand the obsession with putting a giant crater in the center of every map they bring back or release or whatever it went from being a joke to kind of dead ass like they they literally just keep doing this with every map but apparently with this map the whole giant hole is uh it's not permanently there. Same with Lighthouse. Apparently, Lighthouse will be destructible. That's what I'm seeing on social media. I was seeing a couple of people in the Call of Duty scene, like, kind of assume that's what's going to be the case. It doesn't look like these ma this map is going to be just full on destroyed, like, 80% of the time. But it looks like it'll be optional. You can do something to kind of influence the design of the map. Similar to, like, how Battlefield has destructible environments. Maybe that's what they're going for. I hope so. Other than that, it's Rebirth. I didn't really see anything, like, special or unique. Although, it, oh, wait a minute. You know what? It does look like it's easier to get vehicles in prison. Because even back in the day, you kind of had to work them in there. Like, you didn't often see people driving vehicles through prison. But they've got it in the trailer. Okay, we got those water vehicles back. Those water vehicles are on every map, though. But they'll definitely be on Rebirth. Yeah, the cinematography... The music. Okay, wait, I'm trying to see. Do we see any new buildings when we do these flyovers? I don't think we see anything new at the moment. Yeah, we got to look at these, like, flyovers just a tiny bit more. Just see if we see, like, any, like, new buildings, new locations. Now, again, don't forget you'll be able to swim in this. There's a uh, control. There's this whole little warehouse area. I always forget what this is called. I always forget what these two buildings are called, but I, I remember this play. Or this is a control. Um, bloody hell! It, it's why did I say bloody hell? It's been a minute since I've actually played this map. Well, I gotta rethink of the names of the POIs and stuff again. But um, is there anything else that we see in this trailer? I don't think so. Yeah, this has always been there. 
this is just really cool cinematic shots oh yeah this this is a robot <laughs> we've come full circle baby we went from people hating jetpack cards and robots to now we've got these boston dynamic looking people or robots making a return yeah that's cool so we got that it's a cat skin they really love this cat skin i think we see that that skin in so many trailers is this a new one or is it the same one i don't know i don't really care for skins too much because i can't see them uh was there anything else unique here i don't think so but oh yeah but the, the demon bunny <laughs> this is gonna be the new sweat skin it's either gonna be the new sweat skin or the new bot skin or the new shit talker skin it's gonna be one of those three no in between and oh, it is interesting seeing vehicles on the roof. Yeah, you can actually get vehicles up there now, probably because of the new uh, path the lighthouse creates when it slams into prison. I'm curious to see how this is going to play out, man. Like, I actually think it's going to be a lot of fun. Unlike Fortress Keep, where you had a giant crater that led to, like, the center of the earth. I think this won't be too bad since you're just basically going from top level prison to bottom level prison before in fortress keep you couldn't even get that far underground and it just makes it play weird but they do have an obsession with putting giant holes in everything oh are there any new guns that's actually a really good question i just considered okay there's the, all right that's the ram nine now we're going to be getting the bow and the moors oh somebody did say you can see the moors on the uh, helicopter when they're flying in oh let's see let's see let's see I probably should have just looked at this on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. There's the moors. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit more. Yep, that's the moors, all right. Yep, that's the, the, the moors. We got Makarov. I, I don't know who this guy is. But okay. Yeah. All right, we'll get the moors. I'm shocked we didn't see the battle in here at all. They're pretty keen on showcasing new guns. There's a BP the f2000 uh what about here that's the m that's the m m, m mcrp m, msr yeah, whatever it's called they're showing a lot of modern warfare 2 weapons in this that's interesting we got the riveter shoddy right here i guess a lot is a bit of an overstatement i don't know what the, is that the uh okay that's the longbow okay that, that's pretty much all the analyzation i could do for this trailer i somehow turned a trailer reaction into an eight minute video like a true professional youtuber um that's just our greatest skill i guess the funny part is i didn't even mean to do it i generally am actively trying to see if there's anything else interesting that you could find in here but it doesn't look like that's the case so okay so that's pretty much everything that i could find on this uh it's the only trailer that's out right now rebirth island is officially back bioweapons that's what this area is called bioweapons control is over here jesus uh i honestly used to just call this industry all this is just industry eh? like I, I guess you could call this chemical but i'll call this industry during the entirety of regular uh rebirth okay rebirth is back let me know what you thought about the trailer in the comments down below guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like button subscribe to the channel i'm sorry i turned a two minute trailer into an eight minute video did not mean to do that honestly but it is kind of fun just breaking down and analyzing trailers a little bit so i'm going to be doing more of that in the future thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video have a great day as a side note this came out after i just finished recording that previous video editing it and everything they have confirmed that what you're seeing the explosions and everything are for a very special event for rebirth so basically rebirth will be returning in its old form uh the explosions the holes the collapsing things are part of some kind of like event or something that's going to be happening but let's read the tweet really quick at the launch of season three we are reintroducing rebirth island while a number of gameplay updates and visual polish have been made, this version of Rebirth stays true to the original experience our players know and love. Later into the season, we will have a rare chance to encounter infill strikes. These are a set of dynamic events that will alter one of three possible POIs at random at the start of every match. Um, while the majority of matches will remain unaffected, these strikes provide a rare yet unique spin on rotation and traversal opportunities. For more information, keep an eye out for the announcement blog and patch notes coming next week. All right, all right, that that that's cool. That that's really that's a really really cool explanation for the whole thing. I'm glad we're not just getting Rebirth Island with a giant crater in the center. After all. <laughs>